So today we have the pleasure of speaking with Herod Seder, and congratulations on being named the recipient of the MRS Materials Theory Award. Now your award citation notes your work is computationally guided materials. Now this field has existed for a while, but it seems to be the talk of this particular meeting. So why the sudden growth in interest, do you think? Well, I think it's become, uh, you know, uh, finally a very powerful tool. Yes, it's been around for quite a while, but now we are at the stage where computation is really helping us to design new materials, to predict how they might behave before we actually have to go into the lab uh, and make them. So it's, it's become an actually practical and useful tool. Now your talk is titled The Prediction of Stable and Metastable Compounds. So what are some of the key points of your award talk? I think one issue is that, you know, a lot of the useful materials that are used in applications today are not ground states uh, of matter. They are metastable, so they are made by a special synthesis process uh, and then actually used in application. And the question is, one of the challenges for mater computational material science mm. now is, how can we actually predict these materials, these, mater these special materials that are going to be metastable? How can you? Well, you know, this is a long road. This is we, uh, what we are showing here is just a sort of initial thoughts on how to start thinking about it. Uh, we really see this as a 10-year uh, process to get to a real predictive theory for material synthesis and metastable materials. Uh, your talk abstract notes that this work has applications in the energy space. So what are some of those applications specifically? Oh, you know, uh, there's tons. Uh, first of all, we find that almost 50% of all the materials we use are metastable, so it's not just in the energy space, mm. but in the energy space for sure, uh, uh, energy storage, for example, lithium ion batteries, there are plenty of metastable compounds there, uh, thermoelectric materials for converting uh, heat to electricity, so uh, almost any application you'll go, you'll find uses of metastable materials. And you're touching on that now, what are some of the other notable applications that are either here now or coming as a result of research in this area? Um, you know, for example, there are, um, you know, a, a good example is diamond is a metastable material. You know, and diamond is used for coatings uh, of hard coatings on matter. It's used for uh, high thermal conductivity materials. And it's uh, our most expensive metastable material, actually. I would think so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so again, uh, you were named the recipient of the MRS Materials Theory Award. A, a big honor. Tell me about that. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's really a, quite the honor uh, uh, to get that award. Uh, I, I have always felt for my whole career that we need to develop more materials theory and computational methods to really help and accelerate materials design. So it's uh, nice to see that recognized. I would think so. Thank and you. being recognized by your peers as yes, well, right? Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. All right, very good. Congratulations again, Herod Seder. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.